this time, we'll go ahead and get started. So thank you, thank you everyone for joining this meeting. Um, this is the community meeting for the traffic signal design and pedestrian improvements at the intersection of Trinity Boulevard and Regis Court. Um, this project is located in council district number five. Um, I don't believe um, anyone from the council district is on. That's correct, Ivan. All righty. Um, my name is Ivan Lopez. I am the project manager for the city of Fort Worth overseeing this project. Um, this city of Fort Worth project number is 104000. Um, and the project engineer for this project is Trans Systems. This is the agenda we'll be covering today. Uh, we'll be going over the project background. Um, as well as the proposed design as it stands today. Um, and we'll go over the project schedule and project contact information. So a little bit about the project background. Um, so a traffic signal warrant study was completed in 2020. Um, with that study, um, it was determined that this intersection uh, did meet the criteria for signalization. Um, so that was this project was put on a list um, that was then funded um, by the city by the 2022 bond program. Um, a couple of the objectives of this project include uh, improving traffic flow at the intersection, specifically during peak hours, um, and improving pedestrian safety by installing pedestrian um, push buttons um, and installing um, ADA compliant curb ramps. Um, with the installation of the signal, we will be improving all the left turning movements. This is the project location. Um, as mentioned, we are talking about the intersection of Trinity Boulevard and Regis Court. Um, that is south of 181 and east of Highway 360. Um, at this intersection, we do have a lot of businesses. Um, to the On the northwest corner of the intersection is um, a strip mall, essentially, with a lot of businesses in it. Um, on the northeast corner we do have a gas station and on the south side we have two fast food places and a hotel and a storage facility this is the proposed design um, as it stands today um, at each of the four corners we are proposing um, improving the sidewalk and installing uh, pedestrian ramps uh, we will be installing signals at all four corners um, and in order to facilitate the pedestrian movements, we will be um, moving the median noses back. So we will be doing median work. Um, currently today at the intersection, uh, pedestrians are only allowed to cross um, across Regis Court um, west to east. Um, with the installation of this signal, pedestrians will be allowed to uh, cross Trinity Boulevard going north and south. So a little bit about the signal warrant analysis that was conducted. 24-hour um, traffic counts were collected in August of 2020. Um, those included the existing traffic volumes um, and included the turning movements at the intersection. Um, those traffic counts were then uh, collected and put into a report um, that was then measured against the signal warrant requirements um, in the Texas Manual for Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Um, and there are nine uh, signal warrants um, and this intersection met three of those signal warrants one, two, and three, uh, which um, was grounds for um, signalization at this intersection. Um, and then just a side note, um, while the traffic counts were collected and the observed speed of greater than 40 miles per hour was, uh, was um, seen at this intersection. So this is the current project schedule. Um, currently the project is still in the design phase. Um, we do plan on holding a pre-construction public meeting um, once the design is complete. Um, during that pre-construction meeting, we will have the contractor that has been assigned to this project, um, and they can give more information with regards to the construction and the traffic control plan um, that will be implemented in the during the construction phase. Uh, we do plan on having that meeting during June of 2023. Uh, and we do estimate being able to start construction in the summer of 2023. Um, and this construction start really depends on the availability of the signal poles themselves. So um, it could be um, either the beginning or the end of the summer. Um, and we do estimate that the construction will last about six to eight months. Um, 
we are currently um, acquiring right away and we do plan on acquiring that um, summer of 2023 um, before construction begins. Currently, uh, we have identified no utility impacts um, and we do have an estimated construction cost of $534,963. This is the project contact information for the project. Um, my name is Ivan Lopez. I am with the City of Fort Worth Project Manager. Um, and on the screen is my contact information. Um, as well as the contact information for Mark Mathis, who is the traffic engineer for the project, and he is with Trans Systems. Um, we would like to remind residents um, that um, this project does pertain to the intersection of Trinity Boulevard and Regis Court. However, if there are any requests or questions with regards to other intersections or other city streets, um, those requests can be sent into um, the city of Fort Worth uh, through multiple ways. Uh, we do have the My Fort Worth app uh, for both Apple and Google devices. And um, you can also text hello to the following number or call into the call center for any requests or additional questions. And at this time, um, if there's anyone that has any questions, Thank you, Ivan, for presenting um, the presentation for this public meeting. And I'll just like to uh, like for everybody to know that we will be uploading this presentation to the project website, and it would be on the city of Fort Worth website. And you could just type in the name of the project, and you could find this presentation uh, over there. That with that said, I think we can. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone, for y'all's time.